Often when I speak, the press want to talk about the tragedy of the day. They want to talk about terrorism. They want to talk about weapons of mass destruction. They want to talk about emerging infections. I was at a press conference a couple of years ago, and no matter what the press conference was about, the second question would always be something about a terrorist, something about a bomb, something about chemical warfare. So one reporter one day made a mistake in a room filled like this and said to me, Surgeon General, what's the most pressing issue before you today? And I said, obesity. The room was silent. None of them knew what to ask. And I said to them, they said, why do you say that? I said, because obesity is the terror within. It is destroying us, destroying our society from within. And unless we do something about it, the magnitude of the dilemma will dwarf 9-11 or any other terrorist event that you can point out to me. So this is a terror from within. It's destroying us. For years, the government's warned there's an epidemic of obesity in America. Two-thirds of the country is overweight or obese. That's 60 million people. It's shocking it's, and shameful that as a country, we've let the problem get that bad. This generation of children is the heaviest in American history. We may be producing a generation of children whose life expectancy isn't as long as our own. And shame on us. Hi, my name is Brooke, and I'm 12 years old, and I'm going, I'm going to have liposuction. At just 12 years old, Brooke Bates says liposuction was her only hope in a battle of persistent weight problem. My goodness. My goodness, doing this at 12. Uh, I feel very strongly about this. Something is introduced into the environment that makes people sick. The obesity epidemic is a threat to national security. 61% of our active military are currently listed as overweight. We're not going to have a workforce that's healthy. Obesity is not being dealt with by our government. We are not doing anything to truly deal with the prevention of this problem. What are we thinking? And the fact is that human beings are at the cusp of an evolutionary uh, disaster.